Yeah, I, I think that, I, I believe that, that patients are genetically susceptible to different diseases, um, and there's great examples in the world of uh, uh, alcohol use. Some patients get alcoholic cardiomyopathy, but their liver is fine. Other patients get liver failure, but their heart is fine, and yet other patients get, get brain disease um, from too much alcohol, and the other organs are fine. So I think we're all genetically susceptible to different diseases and whether that's genetic susceptibility or genetic protection, I don't know, but we don't know the genes yet, so it's hard to anticipate. Well, so I think right now we only have one good choice. I think, uh, honestly, the only uh, appropriate choice at this point, given the current literature, is to do a coronary calcium scan uh, to identify those patients with atherosclerosis. I think <clears throat> it's outlined very nicely in the 2018 cholesterol guidelines. Uh, it's really the only test now recommended um, for further risk stratification, and I think that's appropriate given the, given the current science. Whether we'll develop a better test in the future with endothelial function testing or with other plaque imaging modalities will have to be seen, but to my knowledge, in 2018, there's no, um, no really high-flying uh, test that's, that, that will supplant coronary calcium scoring in the near future. So I think uh, you know genetics are very interesting, and I think for risk of breast cancer and for other cancers, it, it may make sense. Even for risk of dementia, it may make sense. But we don't know the genes that cause atherosclerosis or heart disease yet. So to do a genetic test to try to answer the question of, of heart disease is not yet possible because we don't know what genes to look for. So I, I think if you're interested in your heart risk, you still have to look into the heart and see if you have the disease. Uh, maybe in the future we'll figure out which genes turn on and turn off atherosclerosis and we can see if we have those genes present. But at this point, those genes are yet undiscovered.